you walk up to that luscious green turf tee pad, did you ever think about how it got there? Sadly, turf tee pads don't grow there on their own. It's either a concerted effort between a disc golf club, the city, or it's done by the city itself. But in this case, it's done by the drive and the will from the local disc golf club and other volunteers that are offering their time. Thanks for watching Chain Hunter, and let's go see how these things get done. Yes, I'm Jarrett Shoemaker from the Bennett's Creek Chain Gang. We are out here at Bennett's Creek Park in Suffolk, Virginia to kind of show y'all what we're doing out here, promoting the tee pads that we are putting in. And this is going to be just a tutorial on kind of how to do it. First thing is that we start off by building our frames, screwing everything together, getting them square, and then we bring them out to the actual pads where they'll be going down. Once we get out there, we'll bring the bobcat in. We'll start moving the land, getting it flat, getting it as level as possible, put the frame down, check the level and grade on that. And then we, once we get it level, we can bring in the sand and we will start filling all the boxes, run over it, tamp it down tight, bring in another little sand, tamp it down one more time, and then we'll bring that mold in that we built and slide it all the way across the top, get it nice and smooth as possible, tight, packed. Turf we already pre-cut, so lay out in the sun, let it get soft. It helps move when you want to make it tight. You go to the front half, buckle it down with screws and a washer in the front. We'll get the kicker out and we'll pull the turf tight all the way to the end, lock it in place, go to the sides and repeat that, and then everything should be nice and snug. We'll bring in the main frame and just pretty much lays, it, lays around the edge. And you got yourself a nice turf tee pad. Out here is where we're talking about where the fill gets put in. It literally just gets packed into the sides. We actually take the bobcat, take the bucket, kind of smash it down. Gives it that nice smooth effect and it really locks the pad in. That's pretty much what I was talking about where it attaches to the outside frame. It literally just pretty much pinches everything in place and sooner or later we will come in, put rock in the front where anything is kind of getting washed out at any point and then come around the edges with mulch. This will be the final product for the turf pads at Bennett's Creek Park, Suffolk, Virginia. Check us out at Bennett's Creek Chain Gang on Facebook. Mm -hmm.